Gets it off to Ewing, work to Addison. Two! Send it in, Patrick. Number 55, Dikembe Mutombo. He's got Huckabee with him on the break, and he found it. Alonzo got flashed for the block. <laughs> For a quarter century, Hoya big men have been at the core of Georgetown's success. Their legacy lives on in 7-foot, 2-inch center Roy Hibbert, a D.C. area native and graduate of Georgetown Prep, who was groomed to wear the blue and gray. So I was like 6'6 six, six in the sixth grade. I met Matumbo one day, and then, you know, I took a picture of him, so, and I felt, you know what, I, I want to be just as tall as this guy and, you know, go to Georgetown. I think coming here, knowing that I had played at Georgetown, uh, my connections there, I think that kind of fueled the fire a little bit more. He had me go to Georgetown when I was in like a freshman. Uh, just go and work out with them, with the guys. I was about 13, 14, you know, playing open gym with them, getting tossed around by those guys. At a very young age, Roy was coming over here playing against, you know, Patrick Sweetney, Dikembe, uh, Alonzo, um, Ruben Boomchi Boomchi, you know, and so he's, and, and at a very young age, you can, you can gauge where you are as a player, and, and also I think it was some inspiration for him as to where he wants to be. The impact of those summertime scrimmages became apparent during Hibbert's first three years with the Hoyas. Following the 06-07 season, he ranked seventh in career block shots and was the latest member of the 1,000 point club, and along with teammate Jeff Green, seemed a probable 2007 NBA lottery pick. Instead, Roy opted to return for his senior year and one more shot at a national championship. He will be in the pros one day, and so uh, I think a lot of people, you know, put a timetable on things and say you need to get there as soon as possible. I think what was more important to Roy um, is to improve and to get better. I said, you know, what's one more year of, of Georgetown? You get my degree and have, hopefully have a chance to you know, make a run at the Final Four again, hopefully beyond that. His decision to return for one final year has laid the groundwork for the Hoyas to bring home a national title and for Hibbert to add his name to the lore of the Georgetown Center. I don't think he has to worry about the pressure of carrying that on. It's just, uh, let's get as good as you can. And, and where people judge where you fall into that hierarchy, uh, we'll let others determine and figure that out. There's been some great guys that have come through that program, you know, starting with uh, Patrick, moving on to Alonzo and Dikembe, so I think he's done his share and done his job and continuing that legacy. First year we went to the RIT and then uh, second year Sweet 16, Final Four. So, you know, if I'm going to carry on the legacy, I have to go one step higher.